guys, what's up? It's Molly. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the oh so requested self tanning routine. I am so excited for this because you guys have been requesting it for so long and I feel like I finally have like all of the products that I love right in front of me and I'm super excited just to talk about them with you guys and share my knowledge. I don't really think that I'm perfect at self tanning, but I've been doing it since eighth grade, freshman year of high school. I don't really know exactly when, but it's been a long time. So I have a little bit of experience and I just wanted to share with you guys some of my tips and tricks and all of that kind of stuff. It's gonna be a talk through kind of video because I was afraid that if I did a voiceover, I wouldn't be able to get all the information out because I just feel like I have so much information. I just drink a venti iced cold brew and I am just, all over the place, my mind is just racing. So let's get started with this video. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe. I'm sorry I'm talking so fast, that cold brew does crazy things to me. So the first thing I'm gonna go over is just a couple of tips off the top of my head that I really wanted to get out there to share with you guys that I think are really important. Number one is, this is something that if you're gonna do it and you wanna do it right, you have to be willing to spend a little bit extra money. I have tried every self tanner from the drugstore and I've tried so many from high-end brands and I cannot even explain to you how much better high-end brands are. The Jergens mousse is kind of good, but it has such an orange tint to it and it's really hard to blend. So I recommend if you're going to self tan, do it the right way and spend a little bit extra money because you'll get way better results. Another thing that you have to keep in mind when you're self tanning is do not do this when you're in a rush. Oh my gosh, I have done that before where I'm like, oh my God, I just need to self tan really quickly and then I can go to bed and then I'll wake up the next morning and I'll wash it off and it'll be amazing. But every time I am in a rush, I wake up the next morning and I have streaks everywhere it looks awful so just take your time with it and the last tip that i have to start off the video with is that practice makes perfect or close to perfect so don't get discouraged if like the first time it turns out kind of wonky it's just because you're just trying it out you need to just keep going and practicing more and more because the more you do it the better you get at it okay now let's get into the products that i use so this video is actually sponsored by nads but i'm super excited to be working with them they sent me this product honestly about a month ago and I've been trying it out. I've definitely made sure that I have tried it out for a long period of time before I talk about it on my channel, but this is the Sensitive Hair Removal Cream and it's new and I absolutely love it and I'm gonna explain why. So this product will give you smooth skin in under four minutes and it also has no drip formula. So it works super well in the shower. You don't have to worry about like being out of the shower. You can do it in the shower, which is super convenient and it's only four minutes, which is so quick. And I love this because I am a very clumsy person. So I tend to get little nicks and stuff if I'm shaving, so this is a great alternative. I get better results from this than with shaving. It removes so much hair and it's also painless, which I love. It's made with natural extracts of melon, aloe vera, avocado oil, and honey, and it has this odor elimination technology, so you don't have to worry about any kind of gross smell. So to use this, all I do is just put a thick layer over my legs and then I wait four minutes. After the four minutes is up, I take a cloth and I kind of rub it in circular motions all over my leg until it's it's all off and you will have the smoothest legs ever. I love using this for the back of my thighs because that's an area that like I really struggle shaving well. So it's really nice to be able to use this because it just makes everything so much easier. So I will leave a link down below to this, but I actually really do <laughs> truly love it. And I highly recommend you guys check it out if you want a really good alternative to shaving because I love it. So after my legs are super smooth, that's really important to me. The next thing that I have to do is exfoliate. Now, I have two exfoliators that I've been using recently. This one I'm actually running out of. I love it that much. It's the Soap and Glory Flake Away Scrub. It smells really good. It's not too harsh. It's kind of gentle, which I like, but since I'm running out of this one, I purchased the Ocean Salt from Lush. This is an oldie but a goodie. I feel like everyone has tried this or at least heard about it. It's a really good product and I highly recommend checking it out if you want a good exfoliator. This one's definitely a little bit more harsh than this one, but either of these works fine. And what I do with these when I apply them is I use this mitt from Loving Tan. Now this is one of their exfoliating mitts and I love this. This will take off any self tanner. So if you have any mistakes that you make with your self tanner, you can always go back in the shower with this mitt and take it off because it just, it does the job. I don't know how it does it. It's incredible, but I just put this on my hands. I'm not gonna do it right now, but I put it on my hands, scrub it all over, and it takes all the dead skin off, makes your legs super smooth, and the rest of your body. I use this for my whole body before I self tan because you don't want any 
old self tanner like lines all over your body when you apply new self tanner so it's good to just get it all off and get a clean slate next up when I get out of the shower it is so important for me to moisturize my whole body because I have pretty dry skin especially right when I get out of the shower my skin is so dry anyways I have two moisturizers that I use the first one is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian bum bum cream I've talked about this before in a favorites video I think on my channel but I love the smell of this and it's super thick I know it says that it's a bum cream but you can use it all over your body if you want to so I put this on my legs up to about my hips and I love it so much it's super thick I use this one on my legs just because they tend to get even more dry and then for my arms since they don't get as dry I use the first aid beauty ultra repair lotion and I use this over the rest of my body I like this a lot as well it's definitely a lot thinner so if you don't need as much moisture I recommend this product. But that is super important with self tanning is making sure that you are so moisturized because if you're not, you're gonna get all kinds of like weird lines and it's not gonna blend as well. So make sure that you moisturize right when you get out of the shower. So another important thing to keep in mind after you moisturize, you don't wanna self tan right away because um, the moisturizer will kind of like blend in with the self tanner and it like just, it doesn't mesh well. So you wanna let all the creams that you're putting on your body really soak in and actually moisturize your skin before you go in with a self tanner so normally I wait like an hour or two before I apply self tanner <sighs> now we're on to the star of the show the self tanner product that I use this is from loving tan you guys know I am a huge fan of loving tan I've talked about them before but I am literally their biggest fan I've been using their products for over a year now and I literally never want to go back to another self tanner again which is saying a lot because I have tried out so many from Ulta and I just this is my favorite it's my all-time favorite so I have two different kinds of self tanner the one that I used in this video was actually the two-hour Express which I have grown to love I think it's so convenient so if I'm using the two-hour Express I use dark and if I'm using the deluxe bronzing mousse I use ultra dark what I love about the two-hour Express one is that you put it on and then you just have to wait two hours and then you can shower it off which I find really convenient if sometimes when I wake up in the morning I'm like oh I'm not really that tan so I can apply this it only takes two hours and then I can wash it off and have a beautiful tan whereas with this one I normally apply it at night and then I wait until the next morning to shower it off so this one's a little bit more intense you get a little bit longer lasting out of it I noticed but this one is a little bit more convenient so it just kind of depends on what you're going for so yeah these are amazing can't recommend them enough and then the other thing that I really wanted to talk about was the loving tan mitt so tons of other self tanning brands make mitts but I've never tried one as good as this one it is kind of like a velvet texture or like like something velvet, very, very soft, plush feeling, and it just makes self-tanner apply so beautifully. So if you're gonna order anything from Loving Tan, make sure you get the mitt. You will not be disappointed with this. And then another thing that I recently discovered at Ulta was these. These are actually from Saint Tropez. They're little face mitts. So basically they just look like little finger mitts, you know, like you put them on two fingers, and you can apply it to your face, which I find is really convenient because you can really get in all of the little areas on your face and move a lot quicker. Whereas if you have the big one, it's kind of more prone to making mistakes because I do apply it to my face since I don't always wear makeup every day and it can be kind of annoying if you don't apply self tanner to your face and your face is always so much paler than the rest of your body so I don't have a clip of me doing this because I just recently found out about it my hands don't look amazing right now they're a little bit darker than my body but it's because I just self tan them I saw on loving tans Instagram story a new thing and I was like Oh my god, how have I not how have I not been doing that forever? So basically, if you've ever self-tan before, you know that like the hands and the feet are a little bit tricky to do. And I saw in their story that they showed how to get the perfect self-tanner on your hands. And basically they said all you have to do is take a makeup brush, a little pump, like literally like the smallest little pump of this, and just apply it all over your hands. Like you would like like you would blend in foundation or something like that, and then just blend it up your arm and you have flawless hands and feet so that's what I've been doing for the past couple of days and I have been loving it I've definitely noticed a huge difference I know that they don't look amazing but you should have seen them before they were way worse you guys are probably sick of me talking about loving tan but I have two more products from them that I love as well this is their back mitt so basically if you live on your own or you self tan on your own and you don't have anyone that can like help you with your back it can be kind of difficult so loving tan made this amazing invention that basically you just snap it up like this and it's like a back 
tanner. So I highly recommend this if you live on your own. I think it's great. And then the other thing from them that I love so much for if I'm going out at night and I want to apply a little bit more self tanner to my legs, this is their bronze shimmer cream. So this gives you just the nicest glow ever, but you have to be kind of liberal with it because if you put on too much, it gets really dark really fast. But I really like this. They just recently sent this to me. I had never tried it before and it just gives you instant color. So this is great as well. If you notice like before you're going out at night, you're like, oh my God, that part of my leg I missed somehow with my self tanner. You can just apply a little bit of this and your problem is solved. And the last tip that I wanted to share with you guys in this video, so many of you guys asked me on my Instagram and stuff like that, how my skin looks so glowy and like healthy, which thank you so much. I don't really think it looks that good, but one of my secrets, I guess, is that if I'm wearing a shirt that shows off my collarbones and my shoulders, it's really simple. Just apply a ton of highlighter to your shoulder and your collarbones because it makes it just glow. And I think that everyone looks better with a little bit of highlighter on their collarbones, just in my opinion. All right, you guys, so that was everything for my self tanning routine. Those are all the products that I use. I do this about twice a week and I noticed that that's like the best for me to get like a nice glow all the time. I just feel really strongly about self tanning and spray tans and all that kind of stuff. I think it is such a better alternative than going outside in the sun for hours on end that is just not healthy for you this is a great way to get a nice glow for the summer without having to sacrifice your health which I feel like is a no-brainer like why are people still going in tanning beds it's 2017 buy a self tanner but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did and subscribe here if you're not already leave a comment down below of any video requests that you guys have I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you in my next video very soon bye